plus seven renowns. It's not bad. Kind of sucks that we lost people, though. It's really not good. Hmm. I don't know what to do now. Or maybe they don't die because, I don't know, maybe they just don't die. The dredge can continue to gather in the distance, but leave some space between you. Content to watch for now. You gather up the chieftain who is still breathing but seriously wounded. Old fool, says Oldif. Tenderness is in her voice. She bundles him into the cart and stays by his side. Only thing we can do is get to Frostvel quickly. As you depart, you watch for S Skogar recedes into the distance. Let's hand tightly in yours. So maybe they don't die because they're they're the main characters. Maybe that's just it. I don't know. But we're heading off to where we need to get to. Pausing to catch a breath, you glance backwards to see the caravan stretching out past the point of safety. They're spaced out so far you're unable to see those bringing up the rear. Uh oh, that's not good. You've got to pull them together, says Ivor. It would be dangerous to stop until at least the godstones, the path should be ahead. Call an early stop for the day. Slow the pace so everyone can catch up. Keep a steady pace. Rally the camera with a speech. Stop. We're going to stop. You refuse to risk the lives for everyone for small gains. A sharp whistle signals the clansmen in front to stop moving forward and start clearing space for your camp. Smiles appear on tired faces, even though you don't push as far from the dredge as you'd like. Yeah, this could be bad. This could be really bad. This could be that the dredge will probably attack us during the night. That's probably not a good thing. But we need to do something. We have to do something. We have to rest. Let's check on my heroes. I can promote him now. Now we can give him a whistle. And he's got two points here, so let's go ahead and... I don't know what these are, though. Like, I don't know what this is. And it doesn't... I'm not seeing it say anything anywhere. Oh, that's willpower. Okay, here we go. That's better. Is spent on... on uh, moves further, hits harder, and performs your abilities, but does not replenish. Hmm, okay. Break is the amount of direction damage you can naturally do to an enemy armor. So, willpower makes me hit harder. If the strength drops to zero, the unit falls unconscious. Wait, what? Kills needed to be promoted to the next... Okay, so I only need one more kill on this guy. We want strength. Yeah, let's just keep... We'll pump strength. Confirm. Oldif, yep. I'm going to promote you as well. Max out your strength. Promote Alette. Max that out, and, uh, yep, we'll max this out as well. Confirm. You're still at rank one. Yep, okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot to do something there, because I can give Odalif, I can give her something. Um, I can give her one of these as well. Right? I thought I bought two of these. Hmm. 
Guess not. I'm positive I bought two of them. Is there not a market anymore? No, I guess we don't have a market anymore. Alright, we'll rest one more day. We don't have much food. We need to get to the next area. We only have four days of food left. That could be a problem. That could be a huge problem, actually. That's a mighty fine banner you have there. <laughs> Far enough for today, I think. So I didn't even have to stop there. That sucks. After a day of misery, men and women drop their meager possessions beneath the godstone of Hira Davala Dariyarababa. What are we doing? We just left our homes because suddenly there were dredge? probably shouldn't have been looking to me for advice. Look at these people. Somebody has to hold them together. That's you, Rook. How am I supposed to do that? What do we do if we run into more dredge? But you're the dredge killer around here. Hmm. Yeah. A varl. They want to listen to someone who looks like them. What about Odalif? Let her? If that's easier for you. Hmm. Maybe. What am I supposed to do anyways? If we run into more dredge. What if we run into more dredge? Yeah, that's the thing. What happens if we run into more, more dredge? You mean, when? That's true. I'll be honest with you. These men can't take another dredge by themselves. That's true. I expect we'll lose two for every slag we take down. So we run? Only if you want to lose women and children. We're going to have to fight. And there are going to be deaths. There's going to be deaths, all right. If I'm at the helm, there's going to be probably more than one death. God be damned. Why is this happening? Well, it's a video game. It happens. Think of how I feel. I'm stuck nursing a bunch of weaklings. <laughs> Ivor. You do care. I can tell. Feh. Instead of meh, it's feh. Feh. Men are on plague of the... Men are a plague on the world. Worse than any dredge, as far as I can tell. Chats like this are why we get along so well, Ivor. Good old Ivor. Good old Ivor. Alright, let's do this. You sleep poorly. The sun forever stuck to an, an entirety and... Catch that again. Stuck to an eternally bright sky. Before the others rise, you find yourself staring over long, low hills covered in pine. Interesting. The godstone looms overhead, the massive eyes of Habarwa looking to the same direction as you. Hmm. Inspect the stone, get ready to move. Let's take a look at that stone. Might be good. The weathered stone doesn't see many visitors, not much reason to travel as far east. When hunters come through, they sometimes stop to give offerings out of habit more than anything else. Now that the gods are dead, Havarababababababa was the god of hunters and wild beasts, occasionally seen roaming the land as both men and wolf. Hmm. He was always depicted of effigy with his terrible spear. You wonder what he'd think about his woods being full of dredge now. 
Yeah, well, what would happen if there was like the entire woods was full of dredge? That would suck. A young girl from the cavern. Why do I keep saying that? A young girl from the caravan approaches you. I made this for you, she says. Handling you a crude necklace carved from a branch she must have found nearby. Thank you for saving my mama. Oh, look at that. Good old Rook. He died, but that's fine. And then he came back to life somehow, miraculously. She says before running back to her tent. Back at your tent, you ruse, Alette, who clings to your arms until she completely awake. Bad dreams. Eventually the camp is broken down, and it's time to move to Frostvale. It feels like an end more than a start. It's true. We got we got that we got an item. We got the Godstone Hover Rubba Dubba Da achievement. Interesting. Well I tell you, this is an interesting game so far. The caravan halts when a group of men appear on the trail. Weapons at their feet. We've seen the dredge in your wake, says one. We don't wish to meet them alone. If you'll let us join, we'll show you a watering hole with enough animals to fill those supply wagons. Inherent fears of strangers rises mutters through the caravan. Allow the men to join. What are you doing out here alone? And refuse the men to make sure they don't follow. Hmm. You know what? We're going to allow... You know, I really do think... Honestly, I really do think that... Getting the food and water would be really good. So let's bring them on board. And let me just go ahead and glance at the chat and see what the chat's saying. Some of you guys are talking about video compression and stuff like that. If you use XSplit, you don't have to worry about compressing your files because they're small enough to put up onto YouTube and they're ready for streaming quality. Also, I highly recommend that you sh that you uh, put it up on YouTube in minimum of 720p, um, just because that's what people like to watch. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, allow the men to join. That's what I'm thinking. If you'll be no trouble, come along, you say. The men cautiously join your ranks and prove trustworthy. A hidden watering hole nearby is teeming with animals, and soon your supplies are restocked nicely. Twelve fighters. Oh my god, we got twelve new fighters, eighteen supplies. Whoo! That's huge. During a rest, one of the men get too drunk and end up splashing mead in a warrior's face. A brawl erupts. Many thrown fists and broken bones later, the investigator ran Fustat Faratara Doba is tossed on the ground at your feet. Angry clansmen looking for satisfaction. His personal defense is little more than drooling mumbles. Hmm. Do we ask for an apology from the men? Tie him up until he dries out. Laugh off the scuffle. Encourage the others to let the issue drop. Listen. He got drunk. Who cares? It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're all on edge, you reply to the crowd. Does anyone here not deserve a strong drink right now? Let him walk it off. The caravan mutters in lukewarm agreement and gets ready to travel again. Could have gone worse, you think. It very well could have. Very well. La da 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 da. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Da 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 da.